Music.com, boy. Lindsay Gamble here at HITP Music. We're here at Lilypad in Cambridge and we just wrapped up the first night of the plug. I'm here with Jared Walker. Yo, what up, How you doing, man? Well, thank you, man. Great job tonight. Thank you. Thank you for coming uh, to Boston to really, you know, rock the stage with some of the other guys. Um, what's your relationship with Boston? Because I know you've been here before. Man, it's like a um, like love hate relationship. Oh, damn. Like, <laughs> 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 Tell me you love it. Yeah, because like my first time I came out here, man, it was like, it was, it was terrible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This show, man, was just all love, man. So, but I mean, it's, it's definitely on the up and up, man. Like this experience, man, was just crazy. I was just like, now I got to call everyone who I was talking to. I was like, yo, man, hey, scratch what I said about Boston. Man. Yeah. Bring the talent through, you know, you got you. But yeah, I, I mean, that, that's dope that you say that because the, the way that we really got connected was when you came to Boston originally. Yeah. Um, when you were performing, I just happened to miss that email until a few days later. Okay, we just yeah. followed each other on Twitter and, yeah. like, you know, yeah, we all were, right you know, putting the plug together. We all kind of decided on names and kind of shot names and, and performance videos and music around and, you know, we decided on you because we thought you'd be a great fit. Um, yeah, that's what's up, man. I know it's like a lot of people selected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like well, no, nah, I mean, we just we we just want to create like you seen to the talent tonight. Okay. So uh, we just want a high quality event and not just good music, but great performance. Yeah, yeah. So, I appreciate you it. You definitely fit in that category. Um, you you got Target coming out. You got yeah, yeah. You, know, you know next month, September twenty second. You got a new album um, and a book. Yeah. Doubling up on. Them. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about that. <clears throat> yeah, man. Um, dropping a double disc album in twenty fifteen. <laughs> I'm dropping a double album called Target, which is available um, September 22nd, wherever digital music is sold. Um, then I'm dropping a book called Target Practice, which is like coincides with the book. It's called Target Practice, 52 Weeks to Creating My Album. And it's just basically, you know, it's 52 weeks, 52 different entries on like what I learned, you know, from getting my distribution deal and like working with certain people. You know, things that my moms, my grandma may have taught me. You know, uh, I just I just touch on different things, man. And, and, and you know, I just told you know people to be able to use it. So, what was your what was your favorite injury? What what <laughs> what injury do you think fans should be looking out for? Um, it's one that um, I used to work with this management company, and um, it was it was like um, um, under promise and over delivered. I think that's huge. I, I tweeted that today. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Undersell and over deliver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Another one is like variety. I feel like, you know, a lot of times we look, you know, we, we think we need so many like different other stuff. And a lot of times, man, like, you just need a little variety. You know what I mean? Like, you know, sometimes, you know, if you can switch something very small, uh, you know, it can make a world of a difference. You know, like, if you, if you have the same routine every single day, you know, like, for example, when I was writing a book every single day, I would just write in the same spot on my desk. And one time it just became so mundane, I was just like, man, I'm going to write at Whole Foods. So I went yeah. to the Whole Foods in Bowery in New York, and I just wrote. And, you know what I mean? It was just cool, man. It just made me feel better, because, you know. I know exactly what you mean. Like, even just when I walk to work or drive to work, I'll take a different. Yeah, spray. Wow, it's just, it's the small, so it can be yeah, a different absolutely. turn, but it just switches life, you know. Yeah. Um, and like you said, you can just get used to things. Yeah. Um, yeah. You ever feel like that when it comes to creating music? Yeah, 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 absolutely. I, I'm a person that has to be engaged in something. It, it's not a challenge, it just won't last, you know. So, um, with this project, I feel like, you know, growing up in the 90s, man, I grew up listening to, like, on Bugs Bunny, you know, Art of War. Crazy Bone, um, Biggs, um, we're Ready to Die, or Life After Death, Double Album, Tupac's All Out, All Eyes on Me, yeah, Double awesome. Album. So for me, it was just like, yo, all my favorite artists, like, you know what I'm saying? And it's hard to make a double album and, 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 and let it be cohesive. So I was like, yo, that's a challenge. I want to do it. And then halfway through it, I was like, dude, like, this shit's whack. I don't want shit no more, you know what I'm saying? So, but, um, I welcome those challenges, man. It just worked out. Man. I mean, that's a big challenge, especially dropping that amount of. I mean, I'm not sure how many tracks you have, but yeah. I would think that a double disc would be up there. Yeah. And, you know, like, 
the high teens or whatever, yeah, you know, maybe in the top like 20. 23. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and that, that, that is a challenge, especially in today's, you know, <coughs> you know, field of music. Cause people, nowadays you can drop, a drop even drop an EP or drop too many singles at once can be, be a lot. You can backfire very quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, from like, you know, from what I know of you and from, you know, watching your social media presence, it seems like you have a loyal fan base that will embrace that. Um, and, kind of, and, you know, I talked to John Hope earlier and he kind of took time off too. And I, I believe at one point you kind of took some time off and believe, and not time off from music, just like in, in between releases. Yeah. Um, and, and do you ever feel like that? Uh, did you do you feel like you missed out on time, or was it just time to really perfect your sound and your, your work? It was just, you know, um, I just wasn't releasing stuff because I was working on stuff. Yeah. So I took off. I took like a year and a half, almost two years. Wow. Off. <clears throat> but in that time, I went on my first headline tour. That you booked um, yourself, right? Yeah, we did yep. ourselves. One step at a time, and um, I did my, my, you know, headlining tour. You know, fourteen cities, sixteen dates. Um, you know, I made a double album, you know, that's two albums, and wrote a book in three years, so yeah, it may work. seem like I was, you know, and I moved to New York, I'm in Wisconsin, so it may seem like I was slacking or slouching, but it's just, you know what I mean, like, and, and, I'm, and, and, and like one thing I gotta like challenge myself, is I'm, I'm, I'm a private person, and so much of the internet now is brands and <clears throat> what you reveal, you know what I mean, so I'm not a very real person, you know what I mean, like, I'm you need to know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like you care, you care that I'm at Starbucks eating yeah. it. You know what I mean? You care about that? So you know what I mean? So like, but at the same time, it was it was important for me to create an experience. You know what I mean? Like all those albums, those like affirmation albums, like, you know, I just said like, those weren't just albums, they were, they were experiences. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's what I kind of wanted to make for, you know, someone who was really doing like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Talk about your, your new single and video. You just put out the video the other day. Yeah, um, the new single is called No Heart Feelings. And we just dropped the, the video. It's been getting a lot of love. Yeah. Um, organic love, too. You know what I mean? It, it, it hasn't got a lot of, it hasn't garnered, garnered a lot of blog or website support with people have just been sharing. You know what I mean? I was just, Sometimes, I mean, when you really think it's all about the fans, you know, even being yeah. a blogger, writer, whatever you want to call it, like, you know, it's more, I, I, you know, work with artists, um, I'll take the word of mouth and fan interaction engagement over, you know, blog posts, you know? Yeah. Sometimes, you know, yeah. bloggers post stuff they don't support, so you never really know. Yeah. So that's why, I mean, no, it's, it's funny that you say that, because, like, I think I heard Lil Wayne say once, he was just like, at these award shows, the best award is the people's choice of awards. Yeah, oh, sure. yeah. That's, so, that's the people who are going yeah, by these, right. like, they're gonna be at your shows and exactly. stuff. Media get we get them for free half the time, you know. Right, you yeah, straight up. Yeah. So I mean, like, no hard feelings. Uh, first single on the album, Target, to come out September twenty second. Pre ordered on iTunes. Pre order on my website, walkwithjerry.com. You know. Sounds good, bro. Before we wrap it up, man, just speak on the Milwaukee hip hop scene. You still, are you still following that? <clears throat> yeah, I follow it very intently too. Any any guys that we should be looking out for? Man, you know, I, I feel like I was like first generation. Like, man, I didn't even know Milwaukee had black people to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but not even that since I just never nah, do nothing about it. Like, nah, I used to live like I used to live in Chicago. Uh, when I first moved up there, <clears throat> my cousins used to always be like an all going joke, like they have Walmart. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, they have McDonald's. I was like, oh my god. You know what I'm saying? But like, no, Milwaukee, Milwaukee has a lot of talent right now, man. It's, yeah, it's booming, man. We definitely support. I've been like, just following a couple guys. I feel like, man, I was like really one of the, you know, and I, I probably never get acknowledged for it. It ain't even about that, but like, I feel like I was really one of the first ones who was really getting on these sites. You know what I'm saying? doing MTV, doing, you know what I mean, complexes, so, stuff like that. But like, I think the difference is that like, back then, it was me and it wasn't like a lot of support from the other artists, in which, like the generation after me, like the young, like 19, 20, 21, like, they mess with each other, yeah. you know what I mean, and they're fresh, and they're, and they're getting like, like, they're like, 
they have an ability to galvanize a lot of support in the city. You know what I mean? So I mean, it's cats like, uh, you know, Vani Del Fresco. Yeah, I like, like You know that. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, uh, Ishdar. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Ishdar. Uh, I'm a big fan of, um, you know, the way he's moving. You know, who else? Pizzle, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, what's the name? Alan, Alan Kingdom's from Milwaukee, right? Who? Alan Kingdom. No, I never heard of him. Wow, he's from, Milwaukee, he's from Milwaukee, right? Oh, man, I got to No, he's not from Milwaukee? I got to get his info. Oh, got to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, who else, man? Reggie Bond. Yeah, that's, yeah, those are all dudes that we, that's, that's dope, man. We must be doing something right. If you, if yeah, if y'all on it, right. Yeah, yeah. Who else, man? Uh, man, this is the Webster X. Yep. You know, yep, man. we got all those dudes. That's dope, man. It's, it's funny because, like, a lot of them, you know, not a lot of them, but like some artists may just come up to me and be like, you know, I fuck with you. And I was like, well, my name is this. I'm like, man, I already know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a fan of this shit, man. Yeah. So I be knowing, man, like, but man, yeah, Milwaukee's coming, man. And, and I think, like, right, what they're going through, like, Boston is kind of like slowly getting to, too, man. Yeah, like, we're definitely booming and we got a lot of yeah. good acts over here. Yeah. That's cool. That's dope, man. Uh, thank you again, man. It's, it's man, great to have you, man. I, I wish you the best of luck. And, man. You know, when your album drops, we definitely got you with the man. support. Target, my debut album, September 22nd. The Boop. book comes out a week later on September 29th. Get it wherever digital music is sold. You know what I mean? Tell Siri to remind you. <laughs> Put it on your Google calendars. Whatever you gotta do, man, September 22nd, Target by Gerald Walker, man. Target by Gerald Walker. That's it. Or Lindsey Gamble. Target by Gerald Walker. <laughs> Get that shit, man. I put too much hard work in there, man. Buy my album, stream it if you have to, man. I don't care, man. Just Apple Music, to right? Apple Music, Spotify, man. Wherever digital music is sold. HITPmusic.com.